what I did was got the mom, got the sister, got the mom, got the daughter, got the stepmom, got the fucking stepsister. So what I'm doing is I got a fucking five some. So that's where I'm at. All right, so we went around asking guys and women what their biggest pet peeves about each other was. And surprisingly, women like it rough. Despite what you heard, women like when you pull their hair. <laughs> they like when you, I guess, rough sex or whatever. I was surprised, but exactly. And one girl says she don't like talking on the phone. That surprised me a lot. A lot of women like talking on the phone. They live on the phone, plenty of them. But surprisingly, that, I was shocked to hear that one. Why watch? Why watch TV? You found out a lot. There you have it. <laughs> is, is anybody ever hey, how you doing? The beat is the bomb. Oh, yeah, I got it. I got it. What's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, no, I got it. I got it. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got this one. So, uh, tonight, it's a good night or what, man? So what? Is it a good night or what, man? Good night. Yeah, it's a good night. So, what are you doing tonight, man? It's uh, a good night on Main Street, and uh, I'm just uh, doing my thing, interviewing what's going on around town. Let me know what's up. Sure, I'm just asking people some random questions for word on the street. So, what's the word on the street? The word street, you know, just a, a website, just everybody try to get on, see what's going on, and want to know what's the word on the street. Good, man. And well, the shirtless the, guy. Uh, what's up with this, this, no this shirtless guy? Yeah, but, and look at him. He's going hard. He's, he's got no neon, shirt. Neon, he's very, very few camouflage. cubes. He's Blending got this camouflage out at the same time. Look at him. Blending he doesn't belong down in south. He doesn't belong in Florida. Look at him. He's kind of a funny looking guy right here. Would you agree? Is he a funny looking guy? Uh, I don't judge guys, but. You gotta, gotta have a bird that won't quit. What? I, I'm not really sure what you said. But I would do him. Well, yeah, it's an interesting night. Well, he can take it in the ass from you, right? Right. Yeah, I mean, protection first, kids. Yeah, yeah safe sex, safe sex. Protection first. Right. Hey, hey, isn't this guy supposed to be the MC of the show tonight? Who? You, man. You're the MC, not me. I said protection. Can we start an MC I said protection. Hey, no, uh, hey. This guy is the MC of the night, not me. Sorry. You're the host of the show. Oh. Have at it. Host. Now I'm the host, and I'm just saying, stuff goes down in Cincinnati, Ohio. Hi, this is Antonio, and I'm here with Julia and Trey. And I have one simple question. What do you, wait, are you, how do y'all know each other? Uh, this is our first date. First date? First date. Oh, okay, so this question is kind of appropriate for y'all two. Yes. <laughs> what do you wish your significant other or boyfriend did more of to set the mood? Rub my feet. Rub your feet. Rub her feet. How you feel about that? Uh, I mean, that's something good. It'd be easy. I ain't really know. Are you okay with rubbing feet? Yeah, for the most part. I mean, be clean about it. Like. <laughs> so you, you, you have clean feet? Yes. You don't have to show me. I mean, he said you have to be clean about it. I'm not going to rub your feet, but if you want to rub your feet, <laughs> you know. I mean, anything else? Um, candles, nice little Marvin Gaye or Joe playing Avant, something like that. Something to set the mood a little bit more. Send me a cute text, like be naked when you come home. So you, if someone sent you a text that said... Someone. Your boyfriend, your significant other, they sent you a text saying be naked when you come home, you would do that? Yes, I would. Okay. Now I'm going to ask you the same thing. What do you want your significant other to do more of to set the mood? I would say kiss on my neck. Kiss on your neck? Yeah, because it's just like a feeling. <laughs> there you go. You can't describe. Right. How would you feel about that kiss? Go off camera, <laughs> like no comment. <laughs> All right, well, there you have it. Antonio, I'm with Julia and Trey, and they just gave you what they would like their significant other to do more of to set the mood. I got that juice. What's going on with you, homie? How you doing? So, yeah, so what's your worst sexual experience? With what's females? what? Worst sexual experience with females. Um, well, I, um, 
the but the the. I'm sorry, what was the question? No, 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 no. I'm 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 answering this. Okay. Well. Where's Ron Howe? No, no. Watch the door. Watch the door. Watch the door. Thanks. Okay. Say it again. The worst sexual experience. Um. Well, the butt didn't work. So, what I did was. I mean, I slid through. You already know what I did. You slid through? Yeah. Okay, I'm here with Maggie. Maggie, would you please tell me, when it comes to men, what is your biggest pet peeve? My biggest pet peeve is when they act like pussies. What Pussy. do you mean? When they, when, when when they, they act like pussies, like they're scared to take control. When they are scared to take control, that is my biggest pet peeve. So you don't like wearing the pants no, in the relationship? No, I do not want to wear the pants in the relationship. Why not? That's, that's no, control. No, fuck that. That is, fuck that. that. I want him to take control. Take control of the situation. So you, you know want that habits? aggression? I want that fucking aggression. I got that earlier. Bring the that's aggression. A lot of women. Fucking bring it. <laughs> now, if you could answer me one more question, that would be fabulous. Okay, if you could have your significant other do one thing that could better set the mood, what would it be? Attack. Attack. More attack. aggression. Attack. <laughs> fucking attack. Just take control of the fucking situation. Now, what kind of attack are we talking about? Like I the mean, surprise like, or I'm going to attack I mean, you? like, you're on the wall and I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's extreme aggression. <laughs> Very recorded. <laughs> it is recorded, and you can, you can view this. That's anything else that you could just pants. or you just like the aggression. You just want to like be attacked. The aggression. Be the aggression. Like like a lion. Like a lion. Like a lion. Like she a doesn't lion. want a football player. Like a she wants a lion. wild animal. I want a fucking Insane. wild animal. <laughs> Thank the, you the, so much. Huh? What's the question? What's the worst sexual experience? Oh, the worst sexual experience? Worst. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hold up, hold up. Good. Worst sexual experience. Okay, okay, okay. So she invites you to her crib, right? Okay. You're like, okay. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. You get there. Her mama answers the door. You're like, one strike. This bitch is already on one strike, right? Yeah. Her mama asks you what you do for a living. And you say, that ain't none of your damn business. I'll obviously, say, I'll obviously. Say, I know my hey, 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 hold on. Go hold hit up. that that night. Yeah, hey, hold no, on. I'm probably going to be on that ain't none of your damn that. business. At this point, at this point, at this point, you're trying to get the fuck out of there. You're like, as soon as her mama asks you what you do, you're like, you're trying to get the fuck out of here. I'm trying to get the fuck out of here. I don't give a fuck about that pussy. I don't give a fuck about that pussy. I'm trying to get the fuck out of here. I got so she asks you what you do for a living. You're like, all right. You don't, you don't, you don't need to know. You don't need to know. You don't need to know. So then her mama says, okay, but that's, but that's what, her I'll daughter, though. I got you. I mean, that's her daughter. That's her daughter. I feel that. But at the same time, her mama's like kind of fucked up. Her mama's kind of a crackhead. Like, I mean, maybe not be a crackhead, but like. She a rock star? She a rock star. She a rock star. Hey, hold up. She's not only a rock star. She's like, she puts Kid Rock to shame, dog. She puts Kid Rock to shame. Kid Rock looks like a fucking pussy. Anyway, I'm just saying. So, so, so. She says, okay. She says, okay. She says, okay. Your girl's in the bedroom right now. Like, you met my baby girl, we're gonna have a problem. And I said, you know what? You already have a problem. You don't ask way too much shit already. Not a, not a chance, not a chance, not a chance. So you know what I say? I say, fit. I say, fuck it, I say, fuck it, I say, fuck it. Either it's you and your mama, or it's you nor your mama. So. What? You try to get a threesome with it's, mama? It's three or zero. Oh, three no, or none. Three or real, my hey, it's three, three or none. It's three or none at this point. It's three or none at this point. It's three or none at this point. Like the they, obviously, they obviously don't go for it. Of course not, man. I walk out the I walk out the store. I buy a pack of Marlboro 27s. I smoke a bunt and I say fuck it. Because that's how life's going. Hey. Like.